जय हिंद एयर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल इन आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी ऑल हैव स्टडीड और डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स एंड हाउ कैन बी राइट अ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल इन इट स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म टू गेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए बी एंड सी ओव देर now as you can see today we all are going to talk about the next topic that is solution of linear equation in two variables before moving towards this let us try to understand what the solution of a linear equation means or solution of an equation mean if i will take an equation say 2x plus 3 is equals to 11 and if i will say solve for x so you all know it's a quite easy question to get the value of x we'll simply start it 2x is equals to 11 we'll transpose this 3 towards this side we'll be giving you 2x is equals to 8 and then this 2 will go towards the right hand side getting divided becomes this and then we'll be getting x is equals to 4 so you all will say x is equals to 4 is the solution of this linear equation now what does it actually means it actually means the value of x which is satisfying this equation we all have checked the solutions in class 8th also what i mean to say if i'll put x is equals to 4 in the equation and solve left hand side and right hand side separately so in the left hand side we'll be getting 2 into 4 plus 3 that is equals to 8 plus 3 which is 11 and in the right hand side we already have 11 so from here you have found that left hand side and right hand sides are equal which means x is equals to 4 is satisfying this equation so solution of an equation refer to the value of variable value of variable slash variables that satisfies the given equation so for a linear equation in one variable two variable three variable or n number of variable if you want to find out the solution that value or the solution will be that value which should satisfy the given equations so can we have any other value for x or of x for a linear equation in one variable or for this equation which will satisfy the answer will be no so there will be only one value of variable in linear equation in one variable which will satisfy the equations now is that same goes with linear equation in two variable let us try to understand it with the help of an example i have taken 2x plus 3y is equals to 12 as a linear equation in two variable now if i take x as 3 and y as 2 and put it in this equation in the left hand side so we will be getting 2 into 3 plus 3 into 2 that is equals to 6 plus 6 is equals to 12 this was the left hand side this is the right hand side so we can see that x is equals to 3 and y equals to 2 makes the left hand side and right hand side equal which means this is the solution of a linear equation in two variable 
we write the solution of a linear equation in two variable in the form of a ordered pair like 3 comma 2 the first value will always represent the value of x and the second one will always represent the value of y that means it is always in the form of x comma y that means the values which are satisfying the equation will be written in this form now can there be any other possible value for which the equation is satisfied to now see if i'll put x is equals to 0 and y is equals to 4 so it becomes 2 into 0 plus 3 into 4 that is equals to 0 plus 12 is equals to 12 which is again equals to right hand side that means 0 comma 4 is also a solution that means there can be more than one solution for the linear equation in two variable now how many can we have any other value if i'll take some other values for example if i'll take just a second if i'll take x is equals to 6 and y is equals to 0 then what do we get 2 into 6 plus y into 0 sorry Two into six plus zero into three is again equals to twelve plus zero is equals to twelve. So this is also equals to twelve. That means six comma zero is also a solution. So you can see that for this particular equation, we have got three solutions in fact there are more than that also like the equation was 2x plus 3y is equals to 12 if i'll put x as 2 and y as 8 by 3 so what do we get 2 into 2 plus 3 into 8 by 3 that is equals to 4 plus 8 that is again equals to 12 and is equals to right hand side which means 2 comma 8 by 3 is also a solution now you all can check is there any other value which also satisfy this yes definitely so what we can see over here that a linear equation in two variable have so many solutions and actually with the help of the experiments which was done in past we have observed that a linear equation in two variable has infinite number of solutions which means it can have as many solutions as you wish to find a linear equation in two variable have infinite number of solutions so i hope you all have understood what does the solution of a linear equation means and how many solution does a linear equation in two variable have now the question arises how can we find out like over here i have written so many numbers from my own so you might be thinking that how come sir is finding out these numbers so to find out the solutions of a linear equation in two variable we will follow the procedure which is now i am going to describe let us take another example from your NCERT book only. The question says find four solutions for this equation that is x plus 2y is equals to 6. 
Now what can we do? We will put different values of x and obtain the different values of y. Which means let x is equals to 0. So when you put x is equals to 0, you will be getting 0 plus 2 into y is equals to 6 which means 2y is equals to 6 which on solving gives you y is equals to 3. By putting x is equals to 0 you have got y as 3 which means 0 comma 3 is a solution of the equation. You can check that also putting x is equals to 0 and y is equals to 3 it becomes 0 plus 2 into 3 that is equals to 6 which is equals to right hand side. So the first solution is this. The question says find four solutions. You can put any other value. Let's put x is equals to 1. Then what do we get? 1 plus 2y is equals to 6. Now we'll find the value of y for that we'll shift this 1 towards the right hand side. It becomes 2y is equals to 6 minus 1 gives you 2y is equals to 5 and then it will be getting y is equals to 5 by 2. That means 1 comma 5 by 2 is again a solution of this equation. For the third one we can take x is equals to 2 so we will be getting 2 plus what we are doing we are putting the values of x over here. So 2 plus 2y is equals to 6 then it gives you 2y is equals to 4 and then it gives you y is equals to 2. That again means 2 comma 2 is again a solution of the equation. Same way you can write any other value. I am taking now x is equals to 4. You can take any value of your choice which you think is convenient for you. So it becomes now 4 plus 2y is equals to 6. That means 2y is equals to 6 minus 4 that is 2 that gives you y is equals to 1 means 4 comma 1 is also a solution of the equation so we have obtained 0 comma 3 1 comma 5 by 2 2 comma 2 and 4 comma 1 as the solution of this linear equation in variable. If you wish you can find more solutions also with the help of this process only. You can put the negative values also, you can put something in fractions also. There is no boundation as such. You can put any real number at the place of x to get the value of y. Now let's move on to the next type of question. If you see your NCRT exercise 4.2, the questions are uh, given on the basis of finding the solutions only. There is one more type of question. If I will say exercise 4.2, question number 3. The question says, check whether the following are the solutions of the equation or not. The equation given is x minus 2y is equals to 4 and there are several parts. The first part is 0 comma 2. The question asked to find out whether 0 comma 2 is a solution of this equation or not. For that what we will do, we will substitute these values of x and y in the equation and solve it. If left hand side and right hand side becomes equal, we'll say yes, it is a solution. If not, we'll say it is not a solution of the 
equation. So by putting x is equals to 0 and y is equals to 2. As I told you when it is written in the ordered pair the first one always represent x another one always represent y. In the equation we get something left hand side will becomes 0 minus 2 into 2 is equals to 0 minus 4 that is equals to minus 4 and right hand side is 4 so LHS that is left hand side is not equals to right hand side which means 0 comma 2 is not a solution of the equation same way there are other ordered pairs given let's take one more example it's given determine whether 4 comma 0 is a solution or not so we'll put x is equals to 4 and y is equals to 0 in the equation and uh, by putting we'll be getting 4 minus 2 into 0 that is the left hand side is equals to 4 minus 0 is equals to 4 and right hand side is also equals to 4 so which means in this case we have got LHS is equals to RHS uh, that uh, means 4 comma 0 is a solution whereas 0 comma 4 0 comma 2 was not the solution so this is how you can check the solutions whether they are the solutions of the given equation or not now with the help of the today's lecture you all will be able to solve exercise 4.2 of your ncert book so try solving it we'll meet with the next topic in the next class till then happy learning jai hind